is Mordenier from flipnormals.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can transfer detail between your meshes in ZBrush. Now before we get started it's important to note that the models that you transfer between has to originate from the same model. So the vertex count has to be the same because that's sort of how ZBrush figures out where to place the vertices. And with that let's begin. So it's a very very simple tutorial and it's very easy to do. Uh, what I have here is a guy with some basic anatomy plotted in, just just as a reference for me. Uh, the reason I did it like this is because like this I can sculpt symmetrically, which speeds it up, speeds up the sculpting a lot. Um, and what I want to do is I want to transfer that detail to this pose model. So what I could have done, I could have sculpted all the detail into the pose model but then I wouldn't have been able to do it symmetrically and I would have to spend twice as long on it. Um, the reason for doing this is to give me a good starting point. Okay, so the first step is to export the, the model that you want to transfer detail to. This being our post model, we want to export this and you want to go ahead and export it as an OBJ. So you come up to the export button, give it a name and save it somewhere. Then you want to go to your detailed mesh and go down to layers and in the layers palette you just want to create a new layer and you want to, it's important that you create a layer on the on the subdivision level from which you want to transfer the detail from so before you import your model it's important that you lower your subdivisions to match the subdivisions of your other subtool so our other subtool had just shy of 12,000 polys and these originating from the same same bench mess. Uh, if I bring down the subdivs, you can see that it has the same number of active points. So I lowered my my subdivisions with the layer still being active. And now that I've done this, I want to import our pose model on top. Just as a note, uh, whenever you import an OBJ on top of an active Z tool, it'll go ahead and replace that Z tool. And at first glance, it doesn't look like anything has changed. But if you then start to up the subdivision levels, uh, just use D for that, you can see that all of the detail has been transferred to our model. You could also do this in reverse. So say you have this posed model and you want to transfer to your T pose model, just do it the other way around and it'll give you the exact same result. So. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you again.